Hello everyone, Grim Chorizo here, and welcome to Wrestling Roundup, the show where I give you this week's wrestling news, rumors, and recap. So let's get started with the results from last week's WWE Payback. On the pre-show, Dolph Ziggler defeated Baron Corbin. Kalisto retained the United States Championship against Ryback. Enzo and Cass versus the Vaude Villains went to a no contest after Enzo was legitimately injured. Uh, he was, the match was stopped, he was stretchered out and taken to a hospital. Uh, it turned out it was just a concussion but it looked really bad. Glad to hear Enzo is okay and not sure when he'll be back on TV. Kevin Owens defeated Sami Zayn. The Miz retained the Intercontinental Championship against Cesaro thanks to a distraction from Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn brawling. Dean Ambrose defeated Chris Jericho. Charlotte retained the Women's Championship against Natalya thanks to the Chicago screw job. Charles Robinson, the referee, had the timekeeper ring the bell while Natalya was not actually tapping. Vince McMahon revealed that Shane and Stephanie will both be running Monday Night Raw. And Roman Reigns retained the WWE World Heavyweight Championship against AJ Styles. So Payback had some uh, good matches, I guess, but overall it just wasn't that great to me. I think I was expecting too much, and it just didn't live up. Uh, Enzo's injury really threw everything off because, you know, the whole time I was just worried about him, and I couldn't really pay attention to the matches. Owens and Sammy had a hell of a match, though. On Raw, Titus O'Neil returned to action in a battle royal to determine the number one contender for the United States Championship. He was eliminated, however, and the match was won by Rusev. So three new matches have been added to Extreme Rules. They are Roman Reigns vs. AJ Styles and an Extreme Rules match for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Charlotte defending the Women's Championship against Natalya in a submission match, and Ric Flair is banned from ringside and The New Day defending the WWE Tag Team titles against the new number one contenders, the Vaude Villains. So earlier this week, Ryback was sent home due to a contract dispute. Apparently, uh, he was asking for uh, to negotiate his contract, and he actually shared uh, on social media kind of what was going on. He talked about uh, how losers of WWE matches actually get paid less than the people who win the matches. So the people in the same match don't get paid evenly, and he was saying that that was a big part of the reason why he you know, had issues and he felt like he was being uh, not treated fairly and that a lot of people, uh, it's just a stupid policy. If you're in the same match, you know, it doesn't matter who loses and who wins, it's predetermined. WWE chooses who wins. So if you're in the same match, you know, you should get, you should get paid the same, even if you're losing, even if you're doing the job. As I'm filming this, WWE has released eight different superstars so far. They are Wade Barrett, who actually asked for his release, Damian Sandow, Cameron, Zeb Coulter, Alex Riley, El Torito, Hornswoggle, and Santino Morella. Now some of those aren't very surprising, some of them haven't done anything on TV in a long time, but someone like Damian Sandow who's still over after not being used and just being misused for years, it's just sad to see him go. Uh, Barrett was one of my favorites and it's sad to see him go, but apparently he wanted to go because he just wasn't being used right, so I can't blame him. Alex. Riley had something kind of going on in the NXT, so it's a little surprising to see him go, but at the same time, not really. And then the other ones, uh, you know, Santino was basically retired, Coulter hadn't done anything since the stuff with Del Rio, which was awful. Uh, Cameron was pretty bad, but she was trying to get better, but, you know, there's so many better women's wrestlers right now. And Hornswoggle and Torito, I mean, they hadn't done anything basically since WLC, which WLC was amazing. But, yeah, so that's who's been released so far. More could come, but as I'm filming this, those are who have been released. Rumor has it that Randy Orton could be back into ring action in June. So thank you for watching this week's episode of Wrestling Roundup. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you will come back next week. See you later.